Well, we're here in the Grand Pavilion at the floristry, the BFA floristry competition, and we had to design a fantasy parasol. It had to be no smaller than 50 centimetres, but you could actually work up to one metre across. So you've got quite a large area to work to, but it had to be made from scratch. That was the main thing in the actual question. It could not be a parasol that you've taken the cover off and then recover. So it's been a challenge here with, with my piece, actually trying to make a, a structure that was secure, light, usable. Um, I mean, it has been fun because we've had horrendous heat this week. Um, and I decided I wanted to do something a little bit different, so I went asymmetrical. So when you actually look at the parasol, the longest part is the part that would actually follow over the head as a sunshade, because if you think parasol, parasol is a sunshade. It's not an umbrella that is waterproof, so you had to look into all the elements of the question to make sure you got it correct. My vision for my parasol was sort of more like My Fair Lady, very delicate, very pretty, um, sort of a London sort of feel, and hence that's why we went for these beautiful colours, the Mokra orchids in cerise and purple, and then to actually finish it off using the, the wonderful um, Ripsalis and um, the Sampavinums and the beautiful Vanda on there to really give depth. And I felt that I created that sort of My Fair Lady feeling. And if you actually looked underneath the parasol, it's all velvet underneath. We've just found out the awards um, and I've received a bronze medal. Yes, I would have liked my gold, which, you know, is always the achievement. But because of the actual temperatures we have had to put up with over the last couple of days, driving down for five hours in a car in 30 degrees, really sort of played havoc with the handles and things like that so still actually getting a medal is the most important thing i don't want that letter sat at the end of the piece so i'm really pleased to have achieved a, a bronze medal today and here we're with sarah horn's design um totally different style of parasol and you really want to sort of come very close into the details where Individual pieces of wire have been covered with tiny different colours of wool in browns and forms and then finished off with little silver wires and then actually built up this wonderful tail. But when you actually come into the top of the parasol, you've got all the spokes of the top of a, a normal parasol would be. And then it's all been, it's like a, a magical cobweb that holds everything together. Inside has been a place, a place of um, asparagus fern, which actually covers the inside of the structure. And then we come to the top and there's been individual leaves made with the same form and textures from down below. And beautiful calanchio flowers have been placed on here. You've got the wonderful red um, amaranthus and beautiful little geminis and then placed dotted all around and inside the design is the wonderful deep burgundy hydrangea sort of really wanting to drag your eye to actually look inside the form we're here with um, melanie garbutt's design who um, won gold medal and the rhs chelsea florist of the year and it is a, a very beautiful design when you actually get close up and start to look into this piece um, it's got individual little hearts that have been made from like raffias and there's different textures of sisal, sisal hearts, there's um, wrapped wires with different colours and, and um, foliages and then it's got this beautiful movement which has been made into this wonderful heart of the beautiful um, ivory callas climbing through the Vanda orchids there's beautiful little selection of Sampavernums in deep burgundy and lime green. And then you've got just a touch of the lime green amaranthus falling through. And then the actual structure has um, like a chicken wire, which is a Smithers Oasis product that you can buy in many colours. And this is in copper. And this encases the design to really give more stability. And when you actually get very close to it and actually look at the handle again it's got that beautiful curve which follows the curve of the base and it's been covered with like a natural wired rope and the detail in here is absolutely beautiful well we've just come over to the um, interflora design progression which um, 
won gold, which is an absolutely fabulous achievement. And it's so interesting, which has been made with so many different textures of spheres and the simplicity of it really gives you interest and to want to entice you into the design. Just by taking a very basic sphere and using lentils really adds different textures. Here we've come to another sphere that the, the natural sphere has been sprayed with a brown oasis spray paint and then lime green medallina sticks to give it that really spiky porcupine feel. But I think the colour combination of the hot pinks, the limes, through to oranges and peaches really sort of gives you that interest and you, ju you just want to go in and touch and feel it's very tactile, very edible. Um, I think it's an absolutely fabulous design and the way it's been finished very low with the um, lentils, the orange lentils and then you've got the cyclodiplus there that really pulls everything together. We're here with the Nong Newt Tropical Botanical Gardens exhibit which also won a Chelsea gold medal. It's absolutely fabulous. I mean, you actually look at the array of colours and the orchids that have been used on this design. And when you actually get in close and you look at the dragon, it's each individual petal of orchids that has been placed. And they're all made in individual segments and then built up. So you can see the, the scales on the actual dragon. And then you look around and you see different textures and interest. And they've used banana leaves and they have been so exquisitely plaited and weaved. It's something that I want to know how it is done because it is very, very interesting. And I mean, I've never seen such an array of colour and garlands and orchids and the texture. And as you walk around, you see different types of things like elephants and um, different textures. And there's floors that have been covered with orchids. It's just an amazing exhibit. We're here on the Naffa stand, When You Garden From A Dream is the title of their stand. And again, they won silver gilt medal at the Chelsea show. And when you actually look into the depth, it's definitely a garden with a dream. And there's different textures and elements of it with beautiful spheres, with flowers gently cascading out. You've got here wonderful cymbidiums, miniature orchids, the peach hypericum. You've got lots and lots of different textures going through. And as you move along, you see a wonderful little, like, pond. And floating inside is some wonderful cymbidiums. But it's the actual texture and movement that moves around the outside of the piece with the wonderful bark and the mosses. And it's just like walking through a dream garden with urns in the centre that's very textured. And as you walk through, there's different elements that entice you to look. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the Chelsea... Flower Show 2010 has been another amazing experience, especially one for competing. And I think one of the most outstanding stands that really sort of has appealed to me is definitely the one from Thailand. There's so many techniques in there that I can take away and use in my competition work. And I think that is very, valid, very valuable when you've actually been to a show like this and you can take something home with you and really express yourself. It's been an absolute fabulous experience.